Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review for you of the new release from Atelier Cologne, their Lemon Island. These guys are, I guess, a bit of a niche brand. I have done a video on their perfume range before, which I'll leave linked down below, but I was excited to find out what this new release smells like. So I'm gonna be letting you know and giving you my first impressions. If you're new here, then hi, welcome. We're all about perfumes, so check out my hundreds and hundreds of other perfume videos. And if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe subscribe button and show your support and you can also support me on patreon now for exclusive content and as always i will leave the link down below in the description box of where you can buy this perfume in the uk europe and north america cool so atelier cologne if you're not familiar with them they are widely sold but i think they kind of still fit into the niche category they are unisex fragrances and a cologne is typically something that's lighter than an eau de toilette so it's one of the lightest types of fragrances you can get the idea is that you spray quite a lot of it perhaps and you might keep topping up during the day so a lot of their fragrances are aimed at a more hot weather summery vibe i love their pomelo one with grapefruit notes in I have an orangey one there's loads of lovely ones they're great for layering you can mix them or mix them with other fragrances to add like a zesty note they do have other ones as well that aren't citrusy um, but I was super excited about this one I love the name Lemon Island I would definitely have that as a perfume if I was a, had my own perfume range I love that name um, this is actually a cologne absolute which means it's a bit stronger than a traditional cologne these are French made in Paris and it says 92% of the ingredients are of natural origin so what does it smell like so this fragrance has three very distinct notes and you can smell them all as the fragrance develops so when you first spray it absolutely you get lemon it's quite a mm, soft warm lemon it's not like a gingery sharp harsh lemon it's much more softer warm lemon like lemon in the sun you then have a heart note of indian jasmine which really adds body and depth to this and as a result this would be amazing for layering with jasmine perfumes anything from alien uh, Bulgari Jasmine Noir all the way through to newer ones like um, Armani My Way that has Jasmine in you know, any white floral I think this could be nice to add a lemony kick to it and then underneath there is some vanilla but it's not sweet for me here the vanilla makes the perfume almost like creamy like a soft skin feel to the smell and the main notes that you get after it's settled is the jasmine and the lemon. So I thought from the name and from the advertising, this was gonna be like just loads of lemon, maybe just all lemon, like kind of light, sharp, fresh. It's actually much more complex than that. And I, I guess quite a sophisticated smell. It feels and smells expensive. It smells like warm, comforting. I think you could wear it during the day, but you could wear it at night as well, perhaps just use a bit more. But overall, it feels like something I've not really smelt before. It's quite unusual to get lemon with a vanilla base. You know, you, it's not something that really goes together that often in food, in fragrance, whatever. So I actually really like this. I think it's very unusual and different. And if you're looking for something for summer that's just mm, fresh and summery, but still has body, still has something about it, has a warmth to it, there, and you like jasmine, then I think this is a really nice pick. I just, I wish in the branding and everything, they made it clearer that there's more to this than just lemon. But I think this is definitely one of my favorite perfumes from Atelier Cologne so far. I'm really happy, really impressed with it. In terms of lasting power, a few hours, it stayed on me. It's not super heavy, it's not super strong, but it's definitely stronger 
being an absolute than a lot of their colognes so but it's still it's not like an eau de parfum okay so I think it would still be appropriate for those hot days when you don't want something super heavy but you can get these in like little sizes and um, travel sprays and these cool beautiful leather like cases so they're the kind of perfume that you carry with you and keep topping up and perhaps you're on the beach and you just spray it on you and um, but you could carry this through to night time I think because of that jasmine and vanilla so guys, let me know what you think. Have you tried this yet? What do you think of it? What's your favorite from Atelier Cologne? Let me know down below in the comments. I do read all your comments. But that's it, guys. So thanks so much for watching, as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.